today's project is exclusively for the ladies and the girls. We are going to make statement chains and pendants with air dry clay. In a previous video, I have shown you how to make air dry clay at your home. I'll add the link of that video in the description box. If you want, you can check it. Today, I'm going to show you another basic skill for the clay lovers. That is the clay coloring technique. You can color the clay in two different ways. One is before modeling the clay, you can color the clay. Another one is after modeling the clay, you keep it for drying and once it is dried, you can paint the clay. We'll be discussing both methods today. We'll start with coloring the clay. Here I have taken some homemade clay. First step is to prepare your clay. Knead and press the clay with your hands before you add the color. This will help it soften so it can absorb the color more quickly and evenly. Kneading means to repeatedly press your fingers into the clay. This is referred as conditioning the clay. I want to make this clay red. I have taken a red watercolor here. Add a small amount of color to the clay and knead it in. Knead the colorant into the clay until the entire piece is colored evenly. Continue adding the color until the clay gets the color you want. Now we got a perfect red color. To make a lighter shade of red, take some red clay and mix it with more white clay. Thus, you get a lighter pink color. If you want more lighter color, take some pink clay and mix more white to it. Hence, you will get a pastel pink color. This is how we make different shades of the same color. The easiest method to make variety of colors is by the watercolor pack of assorted colors. So there are variety of shades in it. Now you can choose whichever color you want and mix it with the clay. As you can see, here I have made shades of red, shades of yellow and shades of black. Now we can mix these colors and make new colors. Little of red and yellow gives you orange. This is how it works. Here I use watercolor. You can use acrylic paint, poster color or food color to color the clay. Now we are going to make different types of beads with this clay. We are going to arrange these beads together as a chain. So you have to choose colors which goes together. Here I made a lighter gray, darker gray, some orange, some yellow and a dark pink. To get this color, I mixed orange with red. Now we have to make balls of identical size. This is how you shape. Keep it rolling in between your palms. You can make as many beads as you want in different colors. I have finished shaping all the balls. This is the pendant which I am going to make. As you can see, the beads are not round. It's slightly flattened. To obtain that shape, slightly press the bead. Now I need to put holes at the center of the bead. Take a straw and insert it through the center of the bead. Slowly press it to the other side. We got a perfect hole. This is our first bead. Now let's make our second bead. Slowly press it. Then insert the straw and pull it through. Thus we got our second bead. Similarly, let's make all the other beads. We have finished making all the beads for our first chain. Now let's keep this for drying. Once the dark grey beads are dried, I put yellow polka dots on it. Dip an earbud in yellow acrylic paint and put dots on the bead. Repeat this for two dark grey beads. Moving on to the next chain. As you can see, for this chain, you need a big red pendant for the center. Let's make that first. Take anything which can make an imprint on our clay. Here I have taken my oven mitten. I am going to transfer this design onto the clay. Take a lemon size ball of red clay and press it to the mitten 
in a circular shape of uniform thickness. Don't make it too thin. At least quarter inch thickness should be there. Now slowly take it out. Finish the edges with your fingers. With the straw put a hole and keep it for drying. As you can see in the picture, now we need to make some leaf shaped beads in different colors. This is how you make it. Roll the clay in your palm and make it a ball shape. Then roll it on your palm just with one finger. Hence the ball form a cylindrical shape. Let's repeat this for all the beads. Now keep it on the mat and roll it softly just once with a rolling pin. Now you can taper the edges with your fingers. Thus we got a leaf shape. Let's shape all the beads in the same way. Doesn't matter if they slightly vary in size. They don't need to be identical. Now you can put a hole at the center. Now let's make the final bead for this chain. For this bead, I have rolled the red clay to a slightly bigger ball. Put a hole at the center with the straw. Let's dry all the beads before assembling it together. Moving on to the third design. As you can see, there is a big pendant at the center and 10 beads of identical size. We are making everything in black clay. Once it is dried, we will paint it gold. To make identical size beads, I have taken a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon here. I'm pressing the clay into the spoon so that the excess clay comes out. Thus, you get exact quarter teaspoon measurement clay. Now you can shape it into a ball. Repeat this for all the beads. By doing this, we get identical sized beads. To make the big pendant at the center, I have taken one tablespoonful clay. Shape it into a ball and then press it with a rolling pin. Take any circular object. I have taken the lid of a jar here and cut the clay into a round shape. Dip your finger in water and smoothen the edges. Dab the clay with a comb several times so that the stroke marks get imprinted on the clay. Keep dabbing until you get enough strokes on the clay. We are giving the same effect for some beads. After inserting the straw, keep poking the clay with a floral wire. You need to make two hooks on the big pendant to attach the thread. Cut two pieces of floral wire of 2 inch length. Bend it and insert it at the top of the pendant. Apply white glue on the legs of the hook before inserting. Let's put hole on all the beads and keep everything for drying. This is after 24 hours. All the beads are dried. Now let's apply golden acrylic paint to the black beads. I am dabbing the paint on the stroke beads and the big pendant with a sponge brush. On these beads, we need a dab defect. You don't have to fully cover the bead with the paint. Two beads we are dipping in gold paint. Insert the bead in a skewer and dip in golden acrylic paint. Roll the bead in the paint so that the whole bead is coated with the paint. Now let's assemble the chains one by one. First let's assemble this. I am inserting the beads into a black nylon thread. So this is our first chain. Moving on to the second chain. This one we are assembling in a different way. 
we are inserting both the ends of the thread together to the red pendant and we are locking it like this. Then insert all the leaf beads to the thread in the same way. Insert both the ends to the beads. At the end, insert the red round bead. Put a knot and finish it. For tying the ends of the chain, you can insert a small bead like this through both the ends so that you can adjust the length of the chain by moving this bead. For the third chain, attach two black threads on the hooks of the center pendant. With a needle, insert five beads on both the sides. These two chains will go with the western wires. This one with the traditional sari. So this is how it looks. This one I'll wear in the next video. This one may be with a sari. One thing I forgot to tell you, after making the beads, don't keep it in the hot sun to dry fast. Let it dry slowly. Keep it in your room itself, in the room temperature, in a well-lit area. Uh, give it like one whole day, 24 hours to dry. Otherwise, there are chances of cracks forming on the beads. So that's all for today. See you next week with another DIY session. Till then, stay happy, stay safe.